My name is Alistair Rutledge. I'm a professor in applied mathematics at the University of Leeds. And today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, rational functions. I'll be doing some examples of partial fractions and it integrals that involve partial fractions. And we'll end up doing a, a few manipulations of uh, rational functions uh, along the way. I'll be, I'll be doing uh, two examples. So um, the first example is the, the simpler one, which I'll introduce here. So this is, we're going to do an integral, which is 4x squared divided by 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 uh, integral with respect to x, so dx here. OK, so um, how are we going to uh, proceed with this? Well, we've got here a rational uh, fraction here. We've got a polynomial on top, a quadratic function of x on the bottom. We've got another quadratic function of x. And uh, as it stands, it isn't an integral uh, that we can do. So we have to go through some various simplification uh, stages before uh, we'll know quite how to do this integral. So what we could do is uh, we could first of all try and make it as, um, in, here we've got a quadratic function and a quadratic function quadratic function, these things are the same power. So we could simplify it a bit by pulling out the, the leading, the quadratic behavior and then leaving a uh, linear polynomial in x, first order polynomial in x, uh, divided by the, the second degree polynomial on the bottom. So how do we do that? Well, what we want to do is to alter that x squared and make it look a little bit more like what's in the bottom. OK, so what I'm going to rearrange this and write it as uh, the integral. So first of all, I'll take it a factor of 2 out. 2x squared divided by 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 dx. So that 2x squared was, was pulled out. So I've just taken that 4 and written it as 2 times 2. And that was done to make that 2x squared look like the first part of the stuff in the denominator. 